The teachers and students are feeling the pressure as they prepare for the classroom. For CMS, improving test scores is high on the priority list. Yeah, you'll remember the district saw some of its lowest reading and math scores in third and ninth graders. And this was after the district returned from virtual learning. And WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison talked with a high school principal about what progress could look like this year. Floors are being waxed, walls are being painted. It's all in preparation for the first day of school. This school has a new motto, Return of the Rams, and it comes with a lot of expectations. Hey, Ms. Price, you good? From the admin I'm good. to the operations staff. Good to see you. Glenn Starnes II always has time to stop and talk. Starnes is a new principal at Harding University High School, and he's coming in with the goal to make Harding the school of choice for CMS students. People have counted us out. Um, we've had a number of years um, where um, individuals have made intentional decisions to not choose our school as their number one school of choice. According to state data, even before COVID-19, the school spent years as a lower performing school. COVID only widened the gap. We're not going to wake up tomorrow and miraculously we are where we used to be. But we do want to be sure that we have a plan and a process to get there. The school's plan is to focus on student accountability and buy-in. So for us that means our students are tracking their data, right? That they are able to see where they started off the school year in a particular course and how they are progressing towards their respective goal that they work to help create, right? That students are able to assist each other in that progress monitoring along the way. Like many CMS schools, Harding saw a post virtual learning drop in its high school math scores. But with students back in the classroom, scores improved. And we want to continue to be on a path to where we see that success, not just in NC Math 1 as identified in the goals, but across the board. Improving test scores for students isn't a linear path. Because we're not going to get back to where we used to be overnight. Uh, what I will say, though, is that our district has some very clear goals. Goals that parents, students, and staff can look to on the journey. Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.